Hello, my name is Dr. Himali and I am a general physician at Narayana Health. And today the topic of discussion is seasonal flu and its prevention. The seasonal flu is a viral infection which is caused by the virus influenza, mostly type A and type B. And it's called seasonal because it usually occurs or its transmission increase during rainy months or winter season. Uh, the most of us must have suffered from the seasonal flu. The common symptoms include cough, cold, sore throat, fever, headache, body ache, malaise, fatigue, sometimes even diarrhea, vomiting. So certain population are more susceptible to getting this infection and developing complications like convulsion, coma, death, respiratory failure in form of difficulty in breathing and requiring ventilation and all. So this, this population include the infants who are less than two years of age and the elderly population more than 65 years of age. And there is something called high risk group where irrespective age patient can get this infection and more likely to develop complication. This include chronic conditions like chronic lung diseases like COPD, asthma, chronic bronchitis or immunosuppressive condition like diabetes, HIV, malignancy or any patient who is on immunosuppressive medications is in steroids. So they are high risk group and they should be vaccinated against this influenza virus. So what can we do to prevent the seasonal flu? So there are two measures. One is general measure, another is a specific. Specific measures include vaccines and general measures is applicable for all the flus. So general measures mainly is consist of wearing a mask. The reason being most of the uh, this flu viruses are airborne, transmitted by the droplets and that's why wearing a mask protects against things because any infected person can transmit the virus to anyone in their six feet radius just by coughing, sneezing or even talking. So always one should always wear a mask. Another is uh, maintaining a proper hand hygiene. So do frequent hand washing. Also avoid touching your face with your hands frequently. Another thing is maintaining overall your health. Like you should eat nutritious fruit, drink proper amount of water every day and exercise. This all helps in the general prevention of the flu. For a specific part in the vaccines, there are various types of vaccine available in the market. So one is trivalent vaccine, which is effective against type A influenza virus. Another is quadrivalent vaccine, which is effective against type B influenza as well as type A influenza virus. So they are superior in that manner. Uh, both the vaccines are injectable, is given intramuscularly. So there are chances of uh, getting a local site reaction in the form of redness or soreness. Sometimes there could be fever or body ache as well. However, they usually subside within 24 to 48 hours of taking an injection and not require any medications. Anyone can take this vaccine whose age is six months or above unless they are allergic to any component of the vaccines. So everyone, especially the kids less than two years, elderly more than 65 years of age and the high risk groups that we've discussed before, they should get vaccinated every year for this vaccine. Yes, we need to take this vaccine annually. The reason being every year virus get upgraded with the help of mutation and new version of virus comes out. And this makes previous vaccine ineffective against them. That's why we need to take vaccine, uh, new vaccine every year against the new version of the virus. And as everyone says, prevention is always better than a cure. So get vaccinated and get protected against the influenza virus. Thank you.